So Chris, I don't know how long you've been doing this race, but it's been a while. Fair few years. Yeah. What's, what was the pace of the race like today? Uh, I'm not sure if it was me or the race itself, but I mean, I found it really hard. I it went really hard up the first climb. Um, and from then on, uh, my perspective for the race would be just yeah. surviving and, and getting round, to be honest. But yeah, the, the climb was really hard each lap. It seemed quite hard on the cliff road. And then there'd be quite a, almost like an easing down the descent. And It's never easy, is it, though? No. Every year you can do all this training and then the first really hard, intense race effort is always it's hard. <laughs> no two ways about it. Yeah. And even though, I mean, I can't remember which one I was talking to earlier this morning, I mentioned how short it was and they say that just makes it harder. Yeah, yeah, because it, it just goes pretty much first time up the climb, absolutely full gas. The Superior lads are smashing it and going, going really hard and behind it's a bit of a, unless you're in absolutely... 100% <laughs> condition, it's a bit of a grovel. Yeah. That's good fun. How's your winter been? Yeah, winter's been really good. Been super consistent, just done a nice... Um, we did a training camp for the juniors out in uh, Tenerife, so I've just, just come back from that. Um, yeah, that, that, was, that was really good, great weather. It's just so impressive seeing how strong well, the juniors are. Last time I spoke are. to you was TT Nationals. You're having a little bit of a problem. How's it? All yeah, that, that's, that's much better now. So. Uh, Hopefully, onwards <laughs> upwards and have a, have, a, have a half decent year. Yeah. What are the What are the goals for you? For me personally, time trials uh, or road races. A bit of both. I'd like to have a yeah. good crack at the um, national fifty. Uh, maybe the, 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 the uh, like the national masters road race, and we, we always finish with the masters tour of Mallorca. So a bit of masters yeah. racing and. There's, this looks like quite a healthy National B calendar this year, like the yeah. Peony, Jock Wadley, Wally Gimba, yeah, um, yeah decent races. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, that, 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 I mean, I know everyone talks about how bad the scene is, but all these long-standing races. We say, um, when you look at today's race and the, the crowd on the finish climb, and I mean, yeah. Seb's done a fantastic job of get, keeping this race going, I've got huge respect for Seb, so yeah. I think it looks quite healthy, the calendar. Yeah, yeah. Um, train Sharp, coaching. They've got a good elite team as well this year. Yeah, yeah, got some um, great lads. Got the, do you yeah. actually get involved in the coaching of them as well? Uh, I'm, I'm more more towards the juniors. Right. Uh, I, I coach a couple of them. Um, they, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. There's a, it's a really nice setup. There, yeah. I think the most important thing is the, the enjoyment. Um, I think they're looking to do a lot more foreign races this year. So, yeah, yeah it should be a good year for them. Can you name drop? Can I name drop? Name drop people you've coached. Keep people I coached. Uh, well, I mean, James Shaw's in the peloton. Yeah, yeah. So, James, James is going really Brian, well. I don't know if you um, saw yesterday's race. Ben, ben uh, Turner. Ben Turner, yeah. I remember, uh, you know, John or yourself Fred, telling like me Mark how McNally. Ben produces so much power and we now see that. Yeah, yeah. It's like the last few years with Josh Golica, absolutely flying. So, mm. yeah, been some good riders coming through. Yeah. And, and what does that help you? Does that, um, in terms of confidence and that, knowing that you've helped these riders achieve what they have? Yeah, it also reminds you just, just this thing of levels, 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 and it's good when you train with them. It just shows you exactly where you are <laughs> in the great scheme of things. Final question, training, coaching. As someone who's been doing this race for a long time, and I spoke to Sean Yates, who's been doing it even longer. longer. Yeah. <laughs> How has coaching changed over the years since, you know? I think I think from the, from the rider's point of view, it's just the, like the... The ability to track track training load, training consistency. Mm. Uh, and there's so much information out there, but also like, just doing the, the right work at the right time. The, ju like the, so like the juniors, for example, just saying how well they were going out in Tenerife, and you think it's chalk and cheese to how we used to train as juniors, just in, in terms of volume, intensity, and they, they know what they need to do. They know where they need to be in terms of watts per kilo. Yeah, different world. And is there still a post time trial? Yeah, next week. Raphael? Yeah. yeah. You've won that a few times. I have. I'm down next week. See so here we go. This right. is just a bit of a rehearsal for next week. <laughs> Check Good out where the potholes are. Good luck next week then. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers.